Hello. Hi. <laughs> so, Susanna and Ash, I'm having to hold the phone because I forgot the selfie stick. I don't know which is more embarrassing, the selfie stick or not. And we're doing a bit of a tour of some of the deals that we've done. We are indeed. And um, we're talking through with you guys what we did with it because hopefully that'd be helpful for you guys to think, oh, I could do that with a deal. Uh, what went right, mm -hmm. so how we made money. What went wrong, so what mistakes mm -hmm. we made, so that maybe you could avoid making those mistakes. So, we are. Uh, we're outside a uh, property in Knoll, uh, it's four flats. Uh, oh, hang on, just lost the microphone. Oh. Really <laughs> so first mistake, don't lose your microphone. Go. I'm not going <laughs> to be wearing it anyway. But there we go. I think I speak louder because Ash is more gentle. There we go. Yes. Um, so yeah, it's four flats, we've got two two beds, two one beds, and they've all been bought and then sold on. And what did we do? How did we do split them up? So we bought the we bought them all. Yeah. So but, but we agreed them all. We agreed them all, deals. and and uh, three of them were joint ventures, mm -hmm. uh, and then one of them was a source deal. And the joint ventures, just in case someone hasn't done one before, uh, you need to be compliant with thirteen point three. I can't give you legal advice, but just so you, yeah. you know, look up thirteen point three, make sure you're compliant. And that meant that the JV partners bought them in their name, mm -hmm. yep. and then the other one we sold on as a source deal. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And we charged just a source deal, so we made a few thousand quid selling Correct. on as a source deal. Yep. And then the three joint ventures. Um, oh, what deal number? This was deal number one four three to one four six. Yeah. Uh, do you want to show? There's there a deal report. There you go. So we do a deal report for every deal we do. It's kind of nine, ten, eleven pages long yeah, with lots normally, of research. Yeah, roughly. So um, what did you say you would do? Uh, well, these were kind of they're in decent nick, so the landlord had kind of rented them out. Um, so we came in and we just did like a basic refurb, um, a quick cosmetic kind of uh, makeover, really. Um, I think they came in at about like five-ish each for each flat, very roughly. So you know, two bed was a little bit more, but you know, um, the one beds were fairly inexpensive. Um, and then we said they'd be worth um, between about one hundred five. And 120, depending on whether it was a one bed or a two bed and that kind of thing. Um, we ended up getting, um, well, for, for one of the two beds, they got one, two, four. So um, four grand over what yeah, we said. Yeah, cool. very much. Well done. Uh, and the other one was kind of closer to 130. So um, how much did we get? Uh, just What's checking now, hang on. We have a spreadsheet, um, obviously. <laughs> one three five. Oh my god! And yeah. we said one twenty. Uh, one it, two five for that. Oh, one. so yeah. and for that one, so our deal report said one two five, and it sold for one three five. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well done. And then uh, the the one beds they sold for one hundred and fifteen. And we said. And one hundred and ten. Right. And we had said, one hundred and five. Yeah. So interesting, isn't it? We we I bought think. the set of four. Our deal report said 105 for yeah. the for the one beds, and they sold for 110 and 115. Mm -hmm. And then the deal for the two beds, our deal report said 120, and they sold for uh, 135 and 125. It's not bad, is it? If you That's were fine. the JV partner, you wouldn't be unhappy about that, really. And so it's quite useful when you're working with people to try and underestimate where you possibly can, mm -hmm. just because it's people are going to be much happier if you've got an underestimate rather than an overestimate and I think we did the maths didn't we and the and the 42 deals so far sold that had gone through when we were doing the maths like about two or three months ago mm. um they'd sold for four hundred and two thousand pound more than we said so an average of nine and a half grand more but obviously you know some sold for um, lots more than that and we actually had six was it eight no eight sell for under what we said mm. and 28 sell for over so statistically we're nice and over what went well the sale prices. Sale prices, yeah. What, it was what else went? Really straightforward. What else um, went well? Nice and easy refurbs. Yeah. Um, they took a while to buy. Um, How come? To do with like legal work, to do with leases and things like that. It's a property, so now we're into um, the speed bumps. What went tough? Yeah, and then there was a problem tenant in one of the flats as well who took a while to come oh, out. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, the problem. <laughs> this is the one. Uh, the problem tenant put dog poo through the doors of the other flats. <laughs> we no, got, we, I didn't we, know that. Yeah. <laughs> we, got the, we got them out, but um, they were slightly odd behaviour. Mm -hmm. Should we yeah. just say that? Yeah. Yeah, but they're gone, so that's fine. Cool. And then what was, so that was what went badly. What else was tough? Uh, I think that was about it, really. I think it was fairly straightforward in the grand scheme of things. It was just, yeah. We had a break in. Oh, did we? Oh, I, yeah, yeah I can't remember? remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you not remember? You were just having a really tough day. Oh yeah. I so do, we yeah. came round yeah. um, and uh, it turns out we'd had a break-in, so they broke in the back glass mm -hmm. door mm -hmm. and the police 
you know, to be fair, had come around quite quickly, which was great. And they had called out a locksmith yeah. uh, who charged something like 280 quid just to change the locks. No, not even to change the locks, just to board it up. And of course, you can't really, you can't disagree with that because they've been called out by the police. So mm. there's nothing you can do but pay it. And then the other thing, just a little tiny thing, because um, uh, the back garden started to be used by presumably all the neighbours as a rubbish dump. So we had a big sofa and, and rubbish. So you have to clear that stuff really, really fast before people start going, oh, I think I'll dump my crap there too. Yeah. So there's a couple of odds and sods that you wouldn't like hope, you know, expect and buy to mm. sell. But now, um, we, so we basically, we bought all four. We put no money of our own money in. We sold one as a source deal, three as joint ventures, where the profit was split 50-50. They're all sold. They've all been paid for. Job done. Yeah. So now, they're all housed by the new people who bought yeah. them. Nothing to do with that anymore. No, yeah. nothing at all. Any more advice for anybody? Um, they're a very good way of kind of doing um, buy to sell and buy to keep as well. You know, you could buy a block and sell a couple and yeah. Keep a couple, yeah. Good idea. All cool. right, hope that's helpful. See you soon. Bye. Cheers.